Hi everyone, it's Ecomma12, and as you can see, my HTC Desire S can now be upgraded to Android, or Sense, version 3.0. Now, I am very excited to do this update. Let's see if it's got any sort of glitches or anything, or if it works perfectly, because HTC, I've done this before, and it has done some sort of glitches. With the HTC Hero, when they upgraded it to Android version 2.1, it almost destroyed the phone. But let's see how they do here. Okay, so, let's get to it. Okay, now before I actually start the update, I want to just go back to the home screen. And now, let me just turn it off. Now, this is the Desirous, obviously. Now, look, I'm going to power it on. Originally, what it used to have was this, as you can see. You know, you could pull this sort of wheel down, and then you put in your unlock code. That was very, very nice. What it also has is scroll left to right, which is also very good. Whereas in the whereas in Sense 3.0... They've changed that to a sort of cube effect effect when you're swiping between screens, which is not not very pleasant. I like uh, sw like swiping regular left and right. It just is all latest Android phones are using this today, whereas only a few HTCs are having that other weird sort of look to it. So that's one thing I'm not looking forward to. And again, this is the last time I'll be using this sort of lock screen. So <clears throat> now let's just go straight to the update. Hate to say goodbye, but that's what it's going to be like. So let's go to system update is available. And download via any available data connection. Let's just do it via Wi-Fi or cable only. Because it says here that the actual file size is 226.86 megabytes. So basically 227 megabytes, that is a huge file. So let's just do it over Wi-Fi. You need at least 228 points. Oh, not enough space. Please create some more space. Okay, guys, you know what? I'm going to have to delete some things, and then I'll be back, right back with you. Okay, I am back, and I have now deleted uh, some things, and it should have enough space now. Let's go here. Okay. Download via Wi-Fi or cable. Downloading will start when Wi-Fi or Internet pass through or connected, and will pause if they disconnect. Okay. Downloading software updates. Check progress in the notification bar. So... It's going to download the system update, so this looks like it may well take some time. As you can see, it's not even reached to 1% uh, yet. So I'll come back when it's actually downloaded. Okay, I am back, and it has downloaded the firmware. So let's see, what do I do next? Download successful, verifying package. Looks like it's going to be installing it now. So, when it says okay, I don't know what it means by that. Does that mean press OK and we'll be doing it in the top bar? Downloading up the yeah, okay, let's just keep it on. See what happens. Let's take a look. HTC Sense install now, install later. So you have the option to install it now, install it later. Well, I'll just install it now. It says basically you can't use your phone for emergency calls or anything whilst it's doing it. I don't know what's powering off for. I think I'm gonna have to it'll reboot on its own, or I'm gonna have to start it myself and it will continue with the software update. This bubble live wallpaper you can see in the background. I hope it keeps that when I when it upgrades to Sense 3.0, and I hope it'll be f uh, running flawlessly without any issues. Okay, the screen just turned blank. Mm. Yep, it's restarted itself. Let's see what it does. It's going to install the software now. I was actually quite surprised. This has this has hit uh, some other countries. Uh, quite a lot earlier than it has uh, here where I am and uh, what I'm <laughs> that shows on the camera this is actually yellow when this really is green just so you guys know and the same with the bar that's very strange but uh, it's weird that uh, this has been uh, taking ages to come to the UK at least where I live in and um, it's finally out now and there's not too many videos actually uh, having live commentary when actually using the new version of the HTC Sense on the Design S. But at least now with uh, this sort of version of Sense, you can trick your friends into thinking you have a more expensive device than you really do. Because the front of the Sensation and Desire S looks exactly the same, the only difference is the back. Okay, so it's taking some time, so I'm, g so I'm going to skip this part of the video and come back to you once it's actually loaded. Okay, it has just started, and it said HTC, the HTC quietly brilliant, or 
quietly brilliant and looks like it's restarting now, so it should be done, the installation. And I'll tell you this, that was a quite a lengthy installation, and I do not like updating to this to it, because the amount of times it's restarting and stuff makes you believe that something's gone wrong. So, let's just wait for the phone to restart, and hopefully we should get Sense version 3.0 on the Desire S. I know it's not it's not completely a different phone, but I am quite excited, despite me not liking the sort of transitions going on, uh, you know, on the Sense 3.0, I'm still looking forward to trying this, because it seems like I've got a new phone in a way, because I'm experiencing the HTC sensation, just on a sort of slightly different package, the screen is slightly smaller and the processor just ain't as fast, but uh, looks like, from what I've seen on YouTube, looks like this does run fairly smoothly. One of the things I really love about Sense 3.0 is the lock screen animations it gets. You know, we can uh, do a sort of a weather lock screen, and then there's these various other lock screens, so I'm looking forward to using that on here. HTC really do uh, make you get the most out of everything. They make you get the most out of the notification bar, and now the lock screen as well. Okay, looks like we'll be getting 3.0 goodness right now. Ooh, that's live wallpaper still here? Yes! It all works, and they've still got this beautiful... Uh, bubbly live wallpaper here. So here's the lock screen, and Sense 3.0 is working. I can drag my phone here, lagging a little bit, looks like it's still loading things up in the background. No signal. Into ring to activate, and there you go, my signal's here. Pull the ring up, so yeah, I can move the ring. Let's just swipe up. Input my password. Congratulations, your phone has been updated successfully to version 2.13.351.6 point. Wow, what a mouthful. Thank God for that. So, oh, looks like it's still going through a bit of a restarting procedure. It did say that none of your uh, details or emails or contacts or anything will be deleted during this installation. So look at that news mm -hmm. of... Why is it vibrating? Oh, I might still need to sign to HTC Sense, I think. Let's hope everything is still here, because it looks like this is uh, like a factory reset, the way it's all doing stuff here. I hope it didn't reformat the memory card or anything. I'm gonna tell you guys, this took this procedure took over an hour for me to uh, do, and I'm signed into Skype. So yeah, Skype is still here. So yeah, it hasn't deleted anything of mine. Everything is, everything is still here. Okay, and this was purely the setup video. But as you can see, I've got Sense on here, and you can see sort of um, I can't know, don't know how to subscribe to describe these, but these are basically these sort of things here. That sort of you can see that flip the clock here. But yes, great, I've got... Can't people... Oh, we just load up. But yeah, everything's working now. I'm going to be doing a more in-depth video of uh, Sense 3.0 in the future. But for now, I'm just going to sign off. Thank you guys very much for watching this uh, procedure. I'm going to uh, be testing Sense 3.0 out. And then I'll bring you a future video on how it performs on the HTC Desire S. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.